What's up, my freaky fear family? It's me, Fear the Great White. Back with another creepypasta. This one's called The Legend of the Fang Baby of Old Parasol Road. Hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Click that sub button if you want to join this freaky fear family. This is The Legend of the Fang Baby of Old Parasol Road. Growing up in San Antonio, Texas, I always heard all the local myths and urban legends. We have the Donkey Lady, Midget Mansion, the Chinese Cemetery, the Haunted Railroad Tracks, El Camaracito Bar, home of the Dancing Diablo. It's a real place. La Llorona, the Crying Woman, and La Lechuza, a witch with an owl's body. However, one legend always did hold my fascination above all the others. Fang Baby of Old Parasol Road. Now, this is a real legend. You can Google it. There isn't much about it on the internet though. Just a few forums. However, nearly every South Texas native has heard of it. The legend goes that sometime in the 1960s in South San Antonio, a car full of friends were out drinking late one night. They were driving home from the bar on the dark, long stretch of old Parasol Road when suddenly Pete, the driver, noticed through his headlights something small in the road. For a split second, he saw what he thought was a toddler about two or three years old. The child looked as if it were hurt. He had blood on his mouth, was wearing a small white shirt and a diaper. Pete swerved to avoid it. The white impala nearly flipped as it ended up in the brush just past the shoulder. All three had grown up together on the south side of San Antonio, all in their early 20s. As the friends sat in the car, recovering from the accident, from the near accident, the dust settled. Hey, what was that in the road, man? Asked Juan. I saw a baby, man, asked Eddie, insisted Eddie. Wasn't no baby, man, growled Pete as he got out of the car to assess the damage. No, man. We saw a baby. You think you saw a baby? Well, then you get out and look. But me and this car, we go into the house, said Pete as he shifted the car into drive and headed off into the moonlight. Later that morning, Pete had been thinking about what he saw just a few hours before. Was it a baby? He thought. Bothered by the thought, Pete decided to go back and investigate. He packed a six pack in the cooler and headed back out to Old Parasol Road. Suddenly, a tire went flat. Pete cursed as he pulled the car off into the brush. Upon exiting the vehicle, he peered at every tire. The right rear tire was the culprit. He opened the trunk of the Impala, retrieving the spare to replace the flat. The tire was so badly damaged, he didn't notice the two small puncture marks on the side. After a while, the task was finished. Pete opened the doors of the car to air it out and crawled into the back seat retrieving an ice-cold Lone Star beer from the blue cooler. After he cracked one open and started to drink, he slowly began to drift off sweet dreams of beautiful Hortensia. 
Oh, how sweet and lovely she was. He dreamt of their walks along the San Antonio River, kissing her soft lips and making love. Suddenly, Peter woke to a sharp pain in his neck as the dream of Hortensia pulled away. In his horror, he saw a toddler standing over him in his lap, mouth bloody, shirt bloody. The baby had two long upper fangs that rested over his top bottom lip. Sometimes, Pete's sister Maria says that he occasionally visits her in her dreams, asking for her prayers and warning her not to travel down Old Parasol Road after dark. That was The Legend of the Fang Baby of Old Parasol Road. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. I'm Bridget Red White. You're fucking awesome. I love you all. And I'm out. Bye.